Hey guys, what is up? Some classmates of mine told me to do some breakfast. So we're doing bacon, eggs, and apples. And we'll find out we're gonna eat it. We're also cooking them. So, and we're gonna have them raw. He, my dad also got some bacon on that stick. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know we're cooking a pig. <laughs> Okay, anyway, she was gonna eat it. First animal of the day, bear. Just sniffing around. It's like, what? why is there bacon and eggs in the woods? Well, it's, it's not even morning, it's nighttime. <laughs> you can have breakfast for dinner. I do it all the time. Look. It's funny though that he actually sniffs the bacon and doesn't eat it. I'm kind of blown away by that, to be honest. Yeah, well, if he <laughs> ate it, maybe he'd choke on it like I did. Yeah, he choked on a piece of bacon back there. <laughs> yeah, I actually choked on a piece of bacon. Luckily, we brought a drink out off camera, though. He's just sniffing away. It was very scary for me. Just didn't chew enough, it's fine. Mm hmm. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's digging away, just kind of assessing, I think, everything that's there. But he finds an apple and takes mm -hmm. off. <laughs> what? Comes back and starts digging again. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, one thing I've noticed with bears over the years, if it's just little food, they'll just sit there and eat it. But when it's big, like bigger pieces that they can pick up and walk away with, they almost always do. Yeah, because they don't want to have any other animal come while they're there. Yeah, that's fair. That's their piece now, and they want to make sure it stays their piece. Mm-hmm. I can't really tell what he's eating here or what he's picking away at, but. Mm-hmm. He finds an apple. And so off he goes again. It's funny, you can tell of the raw bacon, cooked bacon, raw eggs, cooked eggs, and apples. You can tell that his preference is for apples, which is kind of neat to know. Uh, it's the most natural of the foods that are there for sure. Mm -hmm. And even though they're scavengers, they know what's best for them and what they really need. And the most natural food seems to be a favorite. It looks like he's got another apple yeah, here. That... Now this one here, it could be an apple. Mm -hmm. But I feel like he's being a little gentle with it. I feel like it's a raw egg. Yeah, I think he's cracking a raw egg and getting into it there. Yeah. We actually did smash some, though. Yeah, there's a couple smashed eggs there. <laughs> he dropped an apple really hard on one. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it broke. Yeah. A couple we smashed around just to get the smell out. Mm -hmm. Not that cooking bacon wouldn't put a lot of smell out, but... That as well. Yeah. Standing up and sniffing. He's like, eh. I should try to measure my height. Yeah. In the middle of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Probably about a five footer. He's still a young bear. Got lots of. He's like, what? What is this? Yeah, lots of fur rubbed off. We have seen this bear before. Was he that silly one in those other videos? No, no. That was the one we called Victor. Oh. Uh, he has a V on his chest. Yeah. Oh, hello. Can to say hello? <laughs> What'd you call him? What was his name? Barry. Yeah. He <laughs> said, hi, I'm Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Manilow. <laughs> Finds another apple. I think this is like the last apple there I put out. Yeah, he definitely went for the apples first. 
It's mm -hmm. a good, sweet, sugary, natural food for them. Well. And he's done for the evening. Wait, aren't apples the most sugary fruit? I don't know that for a fact. I know they do have lots of sugar in them, though. Mm. Rat can? Mm hmm. He goes right for that piece of apple the bear just left. No, because at the end in the daytime, I saw another raccoon eating the same apple. Yeah, there is apple there too. That bear just kind of broke it into pieces and left it. Yeah. He probably just eat some of the pieces and then, and, and, and yeah. Here, that one finds a piece of bacon. Mm -hmm. So they're going to go eat this over here. <laughs> yeah. You can tell that one's a little scared of the other one. Mm-hmm. Probably got beat up before. Yeah. Or got in a fist fight by, by a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> this thing going to grab that piece of bacon and head over here. And this, oh, and this one finally got the, the bacon stick. He was like, eh, I don't know how to untie it, so I'm just going to take the whole yeah. stick with me. <laughs> oh, and also he went over to the area. He threw all the eggshells. You didn't kind of see the eggshells, too. Yeah, all of our garbage came with us, but the eggshells, compostable. They can stay back there. Mm -hmm. Rat Daytime raccoon eating another piece of that apple. He's like, oh, this is good. Almost all the food is on now. This is like the last part of the food. Yeah, it's probably a little brown now, but mm -hmm. probably still yummy for him. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So we've done a few videos in this general section of bush. Um, Within like, a kilometer and a half of each other, like kind of thing. Like the strawberry cookie video. Yeah, we did. So, like I said, we have seen this bear before, but it's neat in this bit of bush. The raccoons seem to be really active during the day. Because the mm -hmm. one donut video we did too, there was the raccoons. I'm pretty sure they're the same raccoons, because that was only about 500 yards away from this. Um, they're all there. They're there during the day as well. Yeah, I think the forest in total is like 10 kilometers, maybe? Um, probably not quite that, no, but it's 10 square kilometers at least. Mm-hmm, definitely. But there's that bear. Comes in to check it out. I think all the food's gone at this point, so mm -hmm. off he goes, and I think that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in our next video. Peace.